A good navy suit is the bedrock to any good wardrobe. It's the first item of clothing I tell people to invest in. And the reason for that is it's so diverse. It can go from formal to casual. It, you can dress it up or down as much as you want. And today I'm going to show you five navy suits we've got in store from five different tailors from five different countries. I want you to tell me in the comments below which one you prefer. And let's get to it. So just a disclaimer, these aren't tailored to me, so I may have had to like roll some sleeves up here or there. They may not be fitted completely to my body. It's just to give you a good idea of the silhouette and structure. Okay, representing Italy is this Verena Venezia cotton linen soft shoulder suit. As you can see, no lining, no structure to the shoulders. I'm pairing all the suits with this mustard Sunspell polo. Just to give you a bit of contrast to the navy. Personally, this is one of my favorite cuts just because it can be super super casual it's just comfortable it's relaxing you can sleep in this it's got no structure really to it so it doesn't feel restricting in any way at all and the material is super soft Verena one of my most favorite brands it's so underrated and unknown and you can get some really good deals pre-owned uh, check out the store we've got a couple of really good uh, items in there for you so that's Italy well known for their tailoring and their suits but uh, let's move on to France. Okay, representing France is Husband's Paris, one of my all-time greats in terms of tailoring. A bit more formal, they model their suits on very 60s, 70s aesthetic, uh, with a little bit wider lapels, strong shoulders, high-waisted trousers. This suit's a little bit small for me, so apologies if I'm being a little bit restrictive with my movements. I'm sucking in a little bit. But as you can see, yeah, compared to the last suit, it's got very uh, strong shoulder shape. Um, the torso is a bit slimmer and the material is this seersucker so the last two have been quite summery in terms of materials traditionally personally I don't believe in that I don't go for sort of seasonal in that sort of sense if it looks good and it feels good then go for it especially with well I live in London and the weather can be so changeable and heat wise doesn't change that much so this suit's actually made in Italy so they do cross over Husband's Paris do blend their designs for the materials sourced in England, made in Italy, but with the French design. So it's super interesting, but always with this sort of 70s aesthetic, which I just absolutely love. We've got a couple of pieces in store. We've got another blazer and this suit, uh, definitely worth checking out. And they're like a third of the price retail. Next up, we're gonna go to Australia. Okay, representing Australia, we've got P. Johnson Taylors. This kind of micro cord, almost velvety feeling suit. Um, it's super awesome. It may actually be giving purple reflection from that neon light behind me, but it is navy. P. Johnson Taylors, if you haven't heard of them before, I'd 100% recommend checking out their website. The aesthetics are amazing, the photography is just superb, and their suits are just made so, so well. They're really interesting, they use interesting materials, and the designs are just like classical European designs with just little tweaks. A little bit of structure to the shoulders, but not too much. You can't feel much padding there at all. And it's just got this really lovely movement to it. The materials are so soft and just comfortable. But again, with the shoulders, it's got a little bit of roping here. It's got a little bit of structure here, but it's quite sloping in the way it comes down from the neck. Um, P. Justin Taylor's, definitely check them out. We've got a couple of pieces of theirs in store. We've got a, uh, a navy blazer, which is an amazing deal, I think for 200 pounds uh, in store currently. Definitely check it out. Um, for the price for the quality you're getting is un unreal. But next, we're gonna head to England. Okay, we had to have a several row tailors in here and this navy suit's from Cadna Dandy. Kind of a mixture in terms of cuts of all the last three we've seen. So just a little bit of roping on the shoulders, a little bit of padding, quite a long torso and quite a slim one. From going into the office to a wedding, you can pretty much wear this to any formal occasion. You can get so much out of it for just 250 pounds. Okay, we're on to our last country and we're heading to Japan. Okay, representing Japan is Ring Jacket, probably the most well-known Japanese tailors around. Uh, they take elements from especially Italian tailoring. As you can see from the shoulders, there's hardly any uh, structure here at all. Also the shape of the lapels. Uh, where they are slightly different, so the torso is a lot slimmer. It definitely feels more structured, so a bit more like the French or English uh, blazer and the material is a super heavy hop sack so definitely one for the cooler months if you want to wear a ring jacket i would definitely check them out we've got a couple of pieces of theirs in store we've got this suit we've got a blazer that's this gray check similar sort of style to this very cool personally what i really loved about this this whole suit is the softness of the shoulder gives it a really casual feel but with the material being quite structured it can definitely move to more of the formal wear. So if you're wearing it with like a white crisp shirt and a tie, it'd go really well. So there we have it. Five different navy suits for five different tailors from five different countries. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. 
If you have any questions about any of the items in store, let me know. It's helloarchimus.com, at Archimus on our socials. Everything's pre-owned, but also one of a kind to us. So once they're gone, they're gone. So if you're interested, act fast. Please remember to like and subscribe because it helps me build the channel and ultimately put more stuff in the store and hopefully in your wardrobe too. But yeah, look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.